listen to that. Nothing. You don't hear a thing. This thing is so smooth. So smooth. So quiet. You can hear the motor. Yeah, but as you're coasting, man, this thing is smooth like butter. Now this is the, uh, I'm riding on the Model E from Electric Bike Company. It's a beach cruiser style bike. And I want to bring it out. It hasn't been ridden in a, in a minute. It's time for it to come out of the garage for a little bit. And this thing is so smooth. As long as you're on this blacktop. I mean, you get it off-road, oh, not even smooth at all. It's, I mean, there's no suspension on this thing. So it's really rough off-road. There's no suspension fork, nothing. But man, on the paved surfaces and greenways like this, this thing is so quiet and smooth. And I mean, you can ride no hands. What else about this bike? Here's, here's why I'm doing this video. Because this bike is like the definition of sleeper for me. It doesn't look like it should be as fast as it is. But man, I got to tell you, every time I ride this bike, I am... I'm impressed with the speed and power on this bike. 30 miles an hour all day long on this bike. It's a single speed. You can get it as a seven speed, but it's just so, it's so powerful. I mean, it's got this little tiny motor in the back. I think it's like a, I think it's a 500 watt motor in there that just peaks higher. But every time I ride this bike, I'm impressed just with everything on it, actually. Electric Bike Company does a really good job with their bikes. I mean, it's finished absolutely beautifully. Everything's polished out chrome, but it's, I wanted to come out here. You might recognize this spot because I'm going to be here a lot. This is the bottom of the hill near my hill climb, and I've been testing bikes on the hill climb for the last couple days, recording everything and getting all the baseline numbers so I can kind of have comparisons in my head. And I've, I've bought a, brought a few out here already to to test the Magic Cycle, which is kind of one of the quicker ones, and the Hemiway Escape and the Rad, my wife's Rad Mini, to so get a, a Rad Power example in there. And I wanted to bring this one out today because I was remembering how quick it was. And I was like, I wonder if it's gonna burn up that hill. I, given the power in this thing, this might be one of the quickest bikes up this hill. We're gonna go time it right now, and I'm gonna tell you. I've already got kind of the baseline time out of the magic cycle. I know that's one of the quicker ones. I'm wondering if this, this is gonna beat it. It might have a shot at doing it faster, which is gonna be impressive. This bike is just, even look, I mean, looking at it, you don't even really realize it's an e-bike. You want a sleeper bike? I think this is one to take a look at. Now it's expensive. That's something I should mention. This bike is kind of all dressed up too. I've got the front basket. It's got an alarm system. It's got the rear rack on it. The extra tail lights. Uh, I don't even know what else. There was a bunch of extras on this when they gave it to me. And if I went and build and priced this thing out on their website now, I think it's like $2,900. So it's uh, it's toward the you know higher end of the price category there. It's but it's really nice. I mean, everything's like I said, it's finished beautifully. You got Bengal Aries 3 brakes on there. Great hydraulic brakes. So here we come. We're coming up to the hill climb. I've got it marked out with my start and stop finish points. Let's get up here and time this baby. All right, we start right here. Picked easy spots to remember. We're gonna start right where this path comes out. Put my front wheel right where that path is. So I know, and then there's another path that juts out up there, which is our, our ending point. So here we go. Will the Model E be the quickest? Well, let's see, you ready? Three, two, one. Well, let me put in pedal assist five, just, just so there's no question we're getting full power. And I've got this thing, uh, I, I changed the settings so I have full power out of this thing. It comes to you, you know, regulated to like 20 mile an hour. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That's a good start. Okay, we're off to a really good start. This thing feels strong. Climbing 12 mile an hour. Okay, still building, 13. Here's the steepest part. Uh, oh wow, this is gonna be one of the quicker ones. Wow, and time, wow. We'll keep going the rest of the hill, but holy, that felt fast. That felt fast. That's gonna be near the top, if not the top. This thing is crazy impressive. This bike is such a good bike, but it's not really my, my style. 
I don't feel riding it around like it's my style, but that doesn't mean it ain't a good bike. I'm still deciding if we're gonna keep this one around, if we're gonna maybe liquidate this one. I don't know, I have far too many e-bikes right now. We gotta clear out some space. I have too many to ride, too many to store. This is a perfect example of a great bike that just sits a long time because I don't have the time to ride it. I'd rather put this in the hands of someone that can ride it every day and love it. Because it is great. I, I really enjoy riding this thing. It's really comfortable, even without the suspension. If you just keep it on the streets, super comfortable. The big basket's so convenient. You can see I got like my shirt and everything in there. Here, let me, uh, let me show you the speed on this thing really quick. There's a nice long straight stretch here. Let's just, uh, let's run it up to, to top speed. You can see how quick it takes off. We're going 20 already. I'm 27, 28, 29. 29.7 miles an hour. It just went over 30, 30.1. Wow. I mean, wow. It's, it's, it's impressive. It is a sleeper. This is a sleeper. That is for sure. Now I'm kind of anxious to get home and check the footage and see if this was one of the quicker ones up the hill or maybe even the quickest. I can't remember on that original, you know, hill climb I did for the original review video testing on this, how it matched up. That hill was a little bit different. It had kind of a, you know, a lead into it. You got to build speed to this hill. I basically start on the hill. So it, it's rougher on the bikes trying to get going on the hill instead of having a, you know, a run at it. But I thought that was more appropriate test it really shows the torque right this one's actually pretty torquey well there you have it if you are a fan of the beach cruiser style e-bikes this is certainly one to check out but you're gonna have to part with some cash some serious cash in order to get something like this like i said i think it's around 2900 bucks for this thing but man it really is a beautiful bike but let's say that you don't want to part with a bunch of cash for an e-bike well if you live in North Carolina, I suggest you hit the subscribe button and the bell because I'm going to be giving one away, I think. I'm still planning it out. I'm going to give a bike away. It won't be this one. I've got a, another bike that I want to give away because I think it's I think it's a good one for that. It's a reliable one, I believe, and it's an easily accessible one. And I think it's a good looking one and it's got decent power. So I think that's the one I'm going to give away. I'll show it later. But uh, hit the bell. Subscribe so you know when I do that it's probably gonna be I don't know I'm gonna set a mark I think it's gonna be maybe the 30k on subs on subscribers 30k giveaway right maybe lower I don't know we'll see I think I'm at like 23 ish now so tell everyone you know <laughs> in North Carolina um, so they've got a chance at it if you know family or friends or somebody that lives in North Carolina tell them to create an account subscribe that way they got a shot at it. I want to get as many people locally here to have a shot at this bike. And no friends, no family. I'm not giving this away to anyone I know. I want it to be a total stranger that needs and wants an e-bike. Right? So, and it's going to happen locally. I'm not shipping a bike anywhere or doing any of that. I'm not going to package and ship it. I'm going to do it locally. That's the plan. I'm going to, I'm going to give one away and I'm probably going to liquidate some for, you know, some very, very reasonable prices locally. I got to, I got to get something to keep this channel, you know, going so i can get more bikes right i need i need to liquidate a few because i don't get i don't take commissions or anything from the company so i don't get any payment <laughs> youtube doesn't pay much so if i liquidate some bikes i'll have more funds to put towards other things like that citizen bike build that i did that's where the money comes from if i liquidate a bike or the little bit i get off youtube you know that that go it just goes right back in i just buy motors and parts and all the stuff i accessories video i did recently with all the parts that's all stuff i've I've bought you know that's out of my pocket so that's what I do with all the money from this it just kind of gets re uh, recycled back into YouTube so I don't know what else I think that's all for today hope you enjoyed that curious to see where this ranked on the list but we'll have more bikes coming I'm working on another review right now and I hope you guys are enjoying watching this thank you so much for watching <laughs>